Hey guys, and welcome back to more Dayman 1998. When we last left off, uh, we were about to go have a little look in the garden. Because we've got some shit to do, down in the basement. So now we've jiggled our junk around, and we've got a little bit more space to play with. Let's finally have a look out here. Well, we have somebody that's been shot. Ooh! Sacred Heart Hospital, personal ID card. Denise. Roman. Oh, 434. Okay, 434. Worth knowing. I was going to say, I don't think I found that before, but actually, uh, yeah. Pretty sure I did. What else do we have? We have some 44 Magnum and... We have this. Six shot Magnum revolver. Because why not? Um, right, so if we have a look at this, yes, the East 44. Six shot double action revolver uses 44 Magnum rounds. Customized by DD Firearms. Yes, the East. I'm assuming it's a Clint Eastwood reference on the old six shooter there. Not 100% sure. Um, right. What else we got? So the 44 mag, that's certainly going to come in useful. But here's the real reason we're here. We want this valve. Now when I was playing this um, offline, uh, off cam, I just hid in these bushes and these like zombies just stopped in their tracks. So yeah, look, now they're coming for me. Hide in the bushes, and they stop. So whether this game at one point was going to have some kind of like stealth mechanics, I have no idea. But uh, yeah, interesting. Anyway, let's get out of here. Now obviously we can stay there and fight those if we want, but there is no point really. <laughs> We're not going to fight enemies just for the sake of it. Although I suppose we could. Because there absolutely is enough ammo and then some to kill every enemy in the game. No doubt about that whatsoever. Even though I've read some reviews that claim um, that there isn't. Anyway, but then uh, it's kind of strange because some of the reviews that I've read have also claimed that this is actually like a very difficult and challenging game. And again, I don't know where they got that from. Oh, right, he was a he was a fakie. All right, we need to go downstairs. Now you would have thought that like an obvious zombie in one of these elevators would be a obvious kind of like jump scare, but I don't think the game ever goes there. Which, you know, we can be grateful for. Do it for your health. Have what? Sacred Heart Hospital Health Day. Have a must give a blood. Okay. Have a must give some blood. I'll remember those wise words. Have a must give some blood. Alright, anyway. Let's get back to what we were doing. We were having a must and giving some blood. Out we're clear. Anybody? Nope, we're all good. Okay, now we have this bullshit. Now admittedly, this actually is fairly straightforward and fairly simple. 
Um, let me just remember. So we have to turn the middle valve four times. One, two, three, and four. And then we turn the right valve five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Excellent. And that puts out that pesky fire. So now we can go deeper into the maternity ward. Now, generally, as a rule, if we accomplish something, that means enemies spawn. Similar, in a way, to Resident Evil. But I think Resident Evil was, like, more subtle with it. Whereas this game is kind of in your face with it. Not having much luck with our accuracy here but that's okay uh, let's now nah, we just go for the standard bullets you good you good in all fairness what we could do uh, I was gonna say we could use the enhanced bullets uh, for some reason, we can't choose to unload the gun. Which I don't know why that's happening. Anyway. Let's take this guy out. Is he done? Yeah, he's done. Ah, uh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to check the footage to see where I dropped that magazine. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. We will get other magazines later on in the game anyway, so... Um, I don't think the fact that we... don't have a spare mag... Is that going to impact us? Uh, I don't think it is. Because the handgun is only really any good for zombies. Fighting anything else, you're going to want the shotgun. And you don't really need to worry about reloading with the shotgun. I can't go through that. Come on. I know there's a Mr. Crispy in here. There he is. I guess it took a while for him to activate. Um, Wow. This place is toast. You alright there, buddy? Come up for a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> okay, his head became... Um, I guess invisible? To bullets? Haven't seen that happen before, but whatever. Now, this game actually is quite buggy. One of the bugs that I have seen a lot of... Uh, when I played it myself, which doesn't appear to be a thing so far, as I had, uh, is that all? I had um, uh, puzzles glitching, and although I'd solved them, uh, they weren't activating, which was kind of annoying. Now that happened a few times, so whether that's going to be a thing this time, I don't know. One particular puzzle was bugged out, and I did find a developer uh, log from quite a, f quite a few uh, years ago saying that they were looking for a fix for it, but I guess they never did. Not sure why that uh, alarm goes off there, just for a cheap jump scare, I suppose. And by alarm, I mean the fire engine's horn. Bit odd. But, whatever. So, what have we got going? Oh, hello. We've got a zombie. Ah, hello, sir. 
Welcome back to the land of the living, of sorts. <laughs> I do love the way they stumble backwards. It's like, e -e -e -e. it's like a cartoon character or something. Oh, he's getting up. He wants some more. I'm not sure if you can hit them when they're getting back up. Oh. He got a bit more energetic the second time round. That's okay. Um. What? How did... Okay, I reloaded it. But instead of putting bullets in, it took bullets out. Whatever. Anything in the toilets. We like toilet drugs. There is toilet drugs! Toilet drugs are best drugs. And it's health fluid as well. Health fluid from the toilet. Uh, yeah, we need... 86% health, we're fine. We'll leave it like that for now. Right, okay. Let's keep exploring this crazy ass place. Bullets, excellent. You alright there, love? You good? You were good. We splattered our brains up there somehow. Which I'm okay with, to be honest. More bullets. Yeah, we start tripping serious fucking balls here. But from what I can remember... Yeah, this is a bit where you can get really fucked over by the enemies as well. Stop moving when it flashes like that. That's the best advice I can give. We have birds. Definitely want to stop moving as soon as you get like that flashbang effect. This, this is the place where I was born. <laughs> where it all started. <laughs> I don't know how he knows that. To be honest. It's pretty impressive. Yep. That is most certainly not in our heads. Oh! Neither is that. Hello. Get off me. And you can fuck off. And you can fuck off. To be honest. Quite enough nonsense out of both of you. Alright. Um... Hmm, what is our health doing? Oh, sick, we've got like 70% health, we're actually fine, to be honest. Now, shotgun shells, certainly be taking those. Uh, right, cool. 10 rounds left in this bad boy, that's plenty. Now we actually heard that um, squeaky sound. That was a like bobblehead shoot them up thing. I think if we yeah, there's there is technically one here somewhere that we haven't got, which we will endeavour to find. So there's no like cool unlocks. You don't get like unlimited ammo or anything cool like that for getting them all. Which is if you ask me a missed opportunity. Uh, I wouldn't have thought that would be a difficult thing to implement, but what do I know? Now, although there is a lot of ammo in this game, it still would have been quite fun just to have the uh, unlimited ammo kind of option. Um, having said that, <laughs> uh, our inventory is filling up rather rapidly. So, hmm, maybe not. Oh, we've got an energy bar. Energy bars, like I said, you can't mix them. So, you might as well smoke them if you got them. And if you need them. Right. Let's have a little peep in here, shall we? Let's 
place looks very eerie. Not sure why half of this place was under construction either. I guess we're just going to gloss over that. Now, wasn't this four? Was it four? Ah. Uh, should have it in my notes here. Um, 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 um. Right, so we want four, three, four. There we go. Now, what is inside? 20 hollow points. That's not too shabby. Right, so I just quickly looked up that bobblehead. Uh, you have to actually get it in the hallucination sequence, which is a little bit frustrating, but, you know, I guess it is what it is. That's why when I went back to look for it last time, I couldn't find it. You're dead. You should be dead, sir. Right. This person's had a bit of a bad time. Pretty sure last time this person had something on them to pick up. But I guess not this time, question mark? Alright, whatever. Ah, oh, no. Ugh. Yeah. Use this to regain a small amount of stamina. <sighs> These things are really pointless. They just fill up our inventory. Let's just use it to get out of the way. Those mental drops are pretty useless as well, but anyway, whatever. So I was actually stuck here for quite a while on my first uh, playthrough. But it turns out what we're looking for is a secret little hidden door here. Alright, Doc. So he's got his document there. And I think that's like... Oh no, there is that here as well. Which actually, H additive is quite useful. Uh, we could create another health, but that seems to be a little bit wasteful. What we will do is we'll combine that and that. And then we'll create a super health. There we go. I think that's probably the most efficient way of doing things. Now, you also don't really need to worry about magnum ammo. Obviously, in these games, uh, it's pertinent to think that you need to save your magnum ammo. And to an extent, yes. But as long as you don't waste it on zombies, not really. Ah, of course. So, HB227, Dr. Kimball's letter. It's been five years, but I can still feel you near me, Helen. Five years since the day that... <laughs> since the day that they, them, took you. They, them. All right, easy now. Didn't have to be like that back in 2008. Anyway, since the day that they... <laughs> <laughs> that them? That's such a weird thing. Alright. Took you away from me. The day I became a fugitive. Five years since I th uh, fought the whole world to clear my name. I thought it was over. After the trial. I thought that I could go back to Cook Country Hospital and do what I do best. Save lives. I did it for a while, but I kept on seeing you everywhere, as if you were still alive somehow. So I decided to leave Chicago behind, and I took a job in this small mountain town, a <laughs> small mountain town, um, to find some peace. I never could have imagined that I'd come out of one nightmare and walk straight into another. What started as a basic surgical work turned into an entirely different beast over the last few months. At first, I tried to fight it by leaking information about the practices that are being carried out here and throughout the city. But the government, in but with the government involved, there's no easy way to do so. If it were merely 
my safety at risk, I wouldn't hesitate to contact that marshal who helped me in Chicago. But the company controls everyone here, down to the frail patients and newborns. I cannot in good conscience do anything to put their lives at risk, even though it's probably too late. Even for me, I am done being their puppet and destroying evidence of their heinous crimes. Now that my journey is over, I would like to redeem myself so that I may rest peacefully. Having witnessed recent events, I should have saved some of these poor innocent creatures, but I didn't act quickly enough. One of those bastards already took them away. I think I know who, but I'm afraid to know for sure. This wound cuts far too deep. My senses have already began to fail me. The only thing that keeps me now is your memory, Helen, and the hope that we'll soon be reunited in a place where no one can take you away from me. Well, I hope so, Dr. Kimball. Doc, it's me. Sorry, but your colleague didn't make it. I found him, but was too late to... Mr. Walker, don't dwell on useless chatter. Just check the status of the computer equipment in the room. Did Dr. Kimball complete his work? The screen for the terminal display... What? Listen, Doc. I am done playing your fucking dirty little games. All I've been doing this whole time is implicating myself in whatever the hell crimes you've committed here by erasing evidence. I do not take kindly to being blackmailed by weirdo fucks in puffy white coats, and I ain't your damn puppet! My role as your accomplice in this fucked up horror tale ends now. I'm heading your way, Doc. And when I get there, you'll do well to give me exactly what I risked my ass for in this godforsaken labyrinth. Uh, well, I guess we've had enough of his BS. That uh, looks like Sandman's waking up. Probably not going to be good for the good doctor, but whatever. All right, let's get out of here. Kind of weird. Don't come any closer. No. No. Doc? Dr. Atherton, what's wrong? Answer me. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That's fine. At least we don't have to worry about him anymore. So let's go back. Might actually be beneficial to us. Yeah, it's kind of annoying that one of the bobbleheads that we need to shoot is in a hallucination. But, you know, whatever. Now there is a melty man here somewhere. There he is. Don't really see the point in fighting him. Uh, I'm not sure if he hit me. Just fired that through a wall. So if he did hit me, that's mighty impressive. But yeah, not really worth spending the six to eight shotgun shells they take. Now, he actually did hit me through the wall. Wow. All right. That's cool game. All right. Still got 58 of percent like health left. We're still doing all right. Actually, wasn't there like a candy bar or energy bar as they call it over here somewhere? It might be worth us going back to drop some junk off as well. Did we pick that candy bar up? I guess we did. Alright, whatever. Yeah, fuck that melted man. Can't believe he hit us, technically, if you think about it, through two walls. Kinda scummy game. Wait, the... I've just... So... He was sedated there somehow. And all of these guys were here. And he managed to wake. Okay. Oh, whatever. So, escape the hospital through the morgue. 
That we can do. So if you remember, the morgue is all the way downstairs. Which is fine. Um, however, we're probably going to want to go back to the item room and drop a load of stuff off. Because uh, we are basically maxed out on inventory spaces again. Which does seem to happen a lot in this game. But like I say, it's always a bit of a toss up dropping stuff back because you never know when you're next going to get an item box. And I can tell you from what I can remember, uh, we don't actually get another item box for actually quite a bloody long time. But that's okay. Damn, girl. Sit down. Bit of a demon, that one. Right. Really? Dude. Honestly. <laughs> ah, this game. Off with your head, love. It's just you left. Be ashamed to leave you here by yourself. Alright, let's go jiggle some junk around. Yeah, it would have been nice if there was more of those hexacore things. Um, can't remember what they call these things now. These hives. Definitely, in my opinion, should have been more of these. Right, let's drop a whole stack of the enhanced ammo. Um... Drop one of those, I guess. Don't need the mag rounds on us at all. We're about to use that up. Uh, we can have you. And we can make a new. Um, medical injector. Um... And that's probably pretty good. Do we want to drop all the enhanced shotgun shells? Uh, I mean, they are pretty much just taking up inventory space. Yeah, drop the enhanced shotgun shells for now. Sure. And I suppose what we're going to do here, guys... Uh, actually, let's not save it yet. Because I think we're basically, if memory serves, I think we're almost at the end of this chapter now. There's actually only five chapters of this game. It's not quite as long as it seems. Uh, chapter two and chapter three are the longest chapters that for some reason the first chapter is really bloody short um, chapter 4 is reasonably short and chapter 5 is incredibly short but the majority of the game is chapters 2 and 3 kinda strange alright so let's go Back to the maternity. We did keep a cable on us, didn't we? Because I think... Yeah. I think there's a door to hack on the way out. And that's another thing to be careful with as well. These um, doors that you can hack. Using these hacking cables. They're not really that common, to be honest. I mean, there's a few of them, but... Yeah, they're not as common as you would think. Alright, let's get out of here. Nothing new spawning in there. Don't think so. Nope. Let's go. 
Now, I know I said I was going to stop recording, but um, I am having a really good, fun time with this game. Are you alive? No. Yeah, you can melee by just clicking. It's not very good, as I'm sure you can imagine. But, you know, it can help. Sandman, you bastard! Don't mind the hospital. It's okay. It's not a bad little section. Kind of reminds me of Resident Evil 3 for obvious reasons. Not as good as Resident Evil 3, but not bad. Like, let's be fair to what it is. Not bad. I don't really like doing all the errands for the doctor. And not because, you know, of the actual task itself. Just the doctor seemed to be trying too hard to be evil McEvil brain. Again, it comes down to the voice acting, I suppose. Who is this? Can't be happening. Not again. Yeah, that was just <laughs> really not very good. Uh, I'm sorry to say. You're real. Okay, so what have we got? Normal difficulty. Come on. Don't fail me now. This is in a bad situation. There we go. That was a bad little cycle there. Uh, what do we got? An energy bar. An energy bar. Really? Well, to be fair, I guess we can use it. Yeah, that whole scene there with um, Samantha, I believe her name is. Talking to Sam. Uh, yeah, it just. A, it went on way too long. And B, the voice acting for it was just. It wasn't. It's not even bad. It's fucking awful. And when you're trying to sell something like that, you, you, gotta, you gotta put a bit of effort in, you know? 14th August, 98. As all of my written requests have gone unanswered. I'm making an official complaint in the form of this voice memorandum to the Hexacore supervisor in charge of the AI-8 quadrant. We are in desperate need of more staff. An appalling number of OBE are being diverted here, and we're expected to do autopsy and dispose of each one, not to mention file the atrociously time-consuming paperwork. Since the guys at the dam are always in a rush, why don't they just handle the overflow themselves? After all, they're better equipped with a more spacious facility than we are. I sincerely hope to hear from you this time. Thanking you, Dr. Peter Silverman. Yeah, we'll be having a little peep at the old uh, dam a little bit later on. Sorry, guys. Don't have time to play with you. Oh. All right. Yeah, I suppose my least favorite section is coming up next. But we'll cover that when we get into it. 24 hours have gone by since Raven was thrown from the uh, 4R... 
four RGO Delta helicopter during his unit's rendezvous back to Keensight. Fortunately, the captain survived his death plummet, <laughs> his death plummet by falling through the upper floor skylight of an apartment downtown. The respirator clung to Raven's beak firmly, which filtered out the airborne contaminants that affected the residents of Keensight. Good. Would have been awkward otherwise. Major Sand, man. Yeah, he's fine. Better than ever, in fact. Right, we're not in a very good state here. And we have the world's largest baseball bat there that we can't use, unfortunately. Um, so, I'm going to save it here, guys. I That cleaner voiceover that we keep getting. Uh, it's so cringy. I, they, I wish that wasn't in the game. It was... Is probably one of the worst offenders in my book for just painful embarrassment. But anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. I'll catch you guys in the next one.